You're, I don't need that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, uh, that up till now at least brought us to the end of the informal dialogues of presented candidates. Uh, I think, as I expressed it in the uh, trusteeship a moment ago, that we had very good questions and very good answers also in today's meetings, and that the uh, whole idea of uh, presenting candidates as this new transparent feature of the United Nations has worked very well. Uh, now we are in a situation where, well, if additional candidates will show up, we will try to insist on exactly the same procedure, however late they arrive. Uh, we don't know if any additional candidates will be there. And as I said also, now, uh, of course, gradually the process is going over to the Security Council to fulfill its obligations according to the Charter. But I will try to summarize the impressions from these hearings in a letter to the Security Council. I'll try to underline what I think was the main conclusions of, of these sessions. One, that uh, this is a procedure that has come to stay also in future uh, selections of, of uh, Secretary General. There is a strong uh, wish from the membership of a strong personality as at the helm of the United Nations, an independent one, a courageous Secretary General that will use all the powers provided by the Charter in order to, to advance peace and security development and human rights. Uh, I think we have also got, during these informal dialogues, a very much clearer picture both of the personalities and the priorities of the candidates and the priorities of the membership of what the United Nations should be all about. Which uh, uh, areas we have to improve, of course it's obvious, uh, on, on peace and security, on human rights, and also the need for some changes in the way the whole organization works. And we have, got, we have got, I think, during these meetings, during these dialogues, a much more useful discussion about what the United Nations should be all about in the future than we ha normally have in all the particular issues we are discussing uh, along the road. So uh, I think it's not up to me to, to try to make a kind of straw poll in the General Assembly but I think I can summarize in this letter, uh, in this resume to the Security Council, very many of the ambitions expressed by candidates and by membership for the next Secretary General. Yeah. I will take some questions. There's a question that the gentleman Thank you very much. Errol Arder, it's nice meeting you, Web Publica Press. Uh, Mr. President, are you saying to member states, to everybody, to the Security Council, to us in media, that actually you are looking forward to see more than one candidate to come out of the Security Council process. And do you see that there is a dangerous kind of end of this process if Security Council actually do not uh, change something at the final days with their uh, presentation of the candidate to the General Assembly? Well, it's a prerogative of the Security Council to decide if they will do as they have done continuously over the past 70 years, only present one candidate or present more candidates. And I know some of the members of the Security Council have said that they would not exclude the presentation of more than one candidate. What I think is that uh, the stronger the general membership of the United Nations, individually or in groups, from this point on, uh, express their preferences, the, m the more uh, they raise the probability that out of the Security Council will come a name which is generally accepted 
also in the, in, in the membership. And we know much more about the qualities and policies of the candidates uh, in the General Assembly and in the general public than we ever knew before at the previous eight occasions of selecting a Secretary General. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, you said once that after these di dialogues, uh, if there is a kind of consensus among the member states yeah. to support a certain candidate, uh, it's going to be difficult for the council to choose someone else. Do you still keep this view uh, even after the second dialogue? Yes, yes, that will be my view, that if there, are, there is one or maybe two favorite candidates uh, and the membership in one way or another, individually or in groups, express that, I don't think that none of them will come out as the, the uh, proposal from the Security Council. Uh, I mean, uh, the Security Council is also not only the permanent five, the born main members in the Security Council, it's also ten representatives of the general membership uh, elected in recent years. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press, thanks, thanks for doing these stakeouts. Do you have a view on whether, what, regardless of how many, I, even if there were only one candidate sent, whether it should be by acclamation or vote? I've heard a number of members saying that there was some past history of voting rather yeah. than just rubber stamping. And also the council has said it's going to do its interactions with the candidates uh, all behind closed doors, confidentially. Do you think that, that there's a danger of going from a public process to a confidential process and then getting just one name back? that that would sort of defeat the, the, the purpose? Do you, or is there some benefit? I've heard others say that this makes the GA the, the, the most pu you know, public forum for this and, and kind of uh, maybe marginalizes in some other ways the Security Council. What's your view of it? I think it marginalizes the Security Council. The Security Council has its obligations according to the Charter to bring forward proposal or proposals. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I hope and I think that the balance will be different between the two main organs uh, because of this process. I mean, I think it was the general idea of the General Assembly adopting Resolution 69321 uh, that it should be a kind of, sh of, of changing the balance. And, and, and one thing is for sure, I mean, on previous occasions, on all few, uh, previous occasions, there was no official list of candidates. This time, there is an official list of candidates. And, and I, I, I feel totally confident that the Security Council will have to select from this list, which is a kind of uh, improvement anyway. One last question. among the 193 General Assembly members um, made known their preferences that this would hopefully have some kind of an impact. Is this something that you're going to encourage? Is it something that you're going to recommend that different groups look at all the candidates and come up with perhaps a short list? I will not recommend, but I will not, uh, uh, I, I, I would certainly uh, look at it with great sympathy if it happened. <laughs> Was that a diplomatic answer? Yes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Thank yeah. you very much for coming yeah. and uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Great. Thank you, sir. Thanks well done. Well done.